The star-fragmented product demand for edge AI indicates that small companies might have more opportunities. Yes, absolutely. It's uh, Traditionally, it's like this. If you think about cloud computing, in the last 20, 30 years, you had always Intel, AMD, NVIDIA more recently. And you still have actually two, three players that are dominating 98% of the cloud and very small portion for new startup or other players. But if you go to at the edge, historically, you have plenty of players because you have still Intel, AMD, NVIDIA, Qualcomm, NXP, Texas Instrument, Renaissance, ST Microelectronics, Infineon, MediaTek, Amlogic, Ambarella, iSilicon. I mean, I can go on, right? You have a lot of players because, as you said, the edge is more specialized. You have plenty of applications. It's very fragmented and the big players, they don't like it. Customer wants to have a very more specific application processor. And and therefore, there is space at the edge. It's easier to to have more players. And I expect consolidations also at the edge, but not like in the cloud computing. I expect at the edge to, to see always way more companies smaller but a very big number of companies in semiconductors at the edge and still few in the cloud what do you think of nvidia's cuda ecosystem it's the success of nvidia Uh, i mean uh, nvidia is today nvidia because of cuda that uh, was developed in i think 2003 4 early 2000 was right at the beginning Everyone was skeptical in NVIDIA because they created CUDA for scientific research and so on, right, for parallel computing. But it was not meant at that time for AI, but actually it became the reference, right? Then I think uh, ecosystem is extremely important. And uh, you see CUDA for NVIDIA, but you see also there are open source platforms like PyTorch and TensorFlow. Then uh, there are tools that are used by everybody. And uh, therefore... I think that companies should always plug in their own architecture within the ecosystem. Then uh, for a company like us, it's important be, we cannot be inside the NVIDIA because we are competing, but we need to find a way to make the life simple for the customers of NVIDIA to use our hardware. Then we need to plug in our architecture in the back end of everything. Because the ecosystem is everything. What we give, uh, the chip is like the chip is like the engine of a car, and then you have uh, the car itself is the the system or the board, and then you have uh, the software is the driver for me, and uh, the data is the fuel that uh, runs the car. Then you have to always think about at syst- at a complete level that you have to. If you design an engine, you have to know in which car you put the engine. You have to know who is the driver. You have to know which kind of fuel is inside. And you have always to think about the big picture when you design something which is very specific. Otherwise, you cannot plug in. If you design the engine, but you try to plug in in the wrong car, it doesn't work clearly, right? And then you have to always think at ecosystem level. And uh, you can think that each car has several thousand drivers because my chip will have uh, will run on several thousand softwares, right? And will be used with different data for uh, data picture for convolution neural network or sample audio for LSTM. And then you have to always to keep in mind this since day one.